So no, it's not quite as easy as it sounds. It being breaking the rule of no contact, uh, no contact with a narcissist. Now, most psychologists that I have read or studied believe or seem to believe that uh, one of the worst things you could do with a narcissist is to continue to engage with them. And that is my definition, if you will, of going no contact, that you don't engage with a narcissist. Now, that doesn't mean you don't check up on him. I know there's some people say that when you go no contact, you should not check their Facebook pages. You should do no recognizance, no intelligence whatsoever. They know what these rascals are up to. Well, just my opinion. Take it for what you want. You know, I'm nearly 70 years old. I've learned a few things over the decades. And one of the things I've learned is you don't stalk these people, but you pay just enough attention to know what they're up to and if they are up to something that would hurt you. But beyond that, uh, just stay away from them. So, but my definition, going no contact means not engaging directly with a narcissist or even indirectly. For example, say you just wonder what the narcissist is up to. So you have a mutual friend. So you may talk to the mutual friend and ask the mutual friend, what uh, what has the narcissist been up to? Well, you say his name. Well, you may call him a narcissist. I don't know. So... What they will do is they'll go back to the narcissist and saying, hey, you know, Ken has been asking about you. So what's happened is, okay, now you're engaging. It's not direct, but you are engaging. In a sense, when you do that, you're using that intermediary, that uh, mutual friend, as your flying monkey. I don't want to use any flying monkeys. I don't want to engage in any way. But it is my opinion that uh, stopping short, way short of stocking. It's okay that we do that um, checking up. If they have a Facebook page, yeah, check into it once in a while, see what they're saying about you, if anything. Hopefully nothing. It doesn't hurt once in a while to check public records, see if they've been sued, see if, the, um, see if they've been prosecuted for who knows what. So what we need to understand is when we break the no contact principle, that being engaging directly or indirectly with a narcissist. That is when we get ourselves into trouble. That is because the narcissist, quite frankly, wants you, well, he or she wants anybody and everybody they can control under their control. And you are just basically opening up yourself to more abuse by the narcissist. So you just stay away from them. The closest you want to get to the narcissist is to just pay attention to what they're doing in case they may be saying something or doing something that would harm you or your loved ones. Other than that, just stay away from them. No contact, in my opinion, again, uh, means no engagement. No direct or indirect um, engagement. So why would we want to contact the narcissist anyhow? Because, you know, we've experienced sometimes years of abuse by this person. The reason we want to do that, I think, is because we are... Uh, we're human, you know, we have curiosity, we wonder what they're up to, we wonder beyond what they're up to, we wonder what their feelings are toward us, Has the, have they softened any, have they changed any, are their strategies still the same, or maybe we will be strong enough, we were thinking in our minds, that if I engage with a narcissist, I can learn a little bit about him or her, and quite frankly, yeah, you may, but what you're going to learn based on my experience, you know, I'm nearly 70 years old, but based on my experience, what you're going to learn is they're still narcissists. And they're still going to use you or abuse you if they possibly can. So uh, how does how does the story end? If we begin to engage with a narcissist, what is going to happen? The way that I like to think of this, just to use an analogy, is that um, let's say, for example, you have a burn on your skin, maybe you have a bad sunburn. And uh, what happens is it gets a little itchy, you know, so what you do is you scratch it. And, uh, okay, that relieves the, um, that, I don't want to call it, that relieves the itch, right? So uh, that feels pretty good. And it is a good thing because apparently that allows oxygen into your skin and that helps it heal. But what happens if you keep scratching it? You know, it itches, so you scratch it, scratch it, scratch it. And you wind up doing more damage because you're digging too deep into your skin with your fingernails or whatever apparatus you happen to be using. So when you start digging it too deep into what the narcissist is up to by engaging with the narcissist, you're no longer scratching the itch to let oxygen in. 
what you're doing is you're digging too deep. You are hurting it yourself. Ultimately, it's going to now take longer to heal. And the one thing that we want to do, in my opinion, what we want to do is heal, you know, from narcissistic abuse. I don't know if you ever can fully, but we need to get back on track. Because, as you know from dealing with narcissists, uh, you know, it, it's been a powerful punch. And it's hurt you deeply and probably some other people as well. So, uh, what we do is, okay, we're going to stay away. No contact in the sense of direct or indirect engagement. Just going to do a little bit of checking up to make sure that uh, they're not still up to their old deeds, uh, nefarious ways. And if they are, we'll know what they are. And we know how to... Um, how to circumvent those, but it's all defensive, totally defensive. So we got to be careful because we're going to be tempted to break that no contact rule and we just open the wound again when we do that. So we tend to believe what we see. Uh, whatever we see, we tend to take that very seriously, or at least we should. And we need to resist that temptation to want to see what is going on beyond just basic recognizance, basic intelligence. There are two rectangles on the screen. If you want to keep this conversation going, we have a lot of other videos. All you have to do is click on uh, one of those videos and we will keep on talking. If not, thanks for stopping by and we will see you all next time.